Related acute angle or reference angle. An acute angle between terminal arm of an angle in standard position and the horizontal axis is called related acute angle. It has a positive value between 0 and 90 degrees. Or those who are doing in radians, 0 and pi by 2. Find the related acute angle for theta equals to 165 degrees or 11 pi by 12. So let's look into this angle. Let's place it on the coordinate plane. So when we say find the related angle, acute angle for theta equals to 165, then theta is our principal angle, right? And to find related acute angle, we have to always sketch this principal angle in standard position. So what is the meaning of standard position? In standard position means that the initial arm is along x-axis. So this is my initial arm, okay, along x-axis, correct? So this is x-axis, this is y-axis, correct? That's our zero origin. Now, and then we move theta 165 degrees. 165 degrees is more than 90, less than 180, so somewhere here, right? So let me just draw a line like this. And let me say that this angle from here to here is 165 degrees, right? So this angle from initial arm to terminal arm, this is initial arm. And that one is the terminal arm. So the angle between initial arm and the terminal arm is this angle theta, which we call principal angle. Now when we say find related acute angle, then we are trying to find the angle between the terminal arm and the horizontal x-axis. Do you see that? An acute angle between terminal arm of an angle in standard position. So this is angle in standard position, vertex at zero, initial arm along, the x-axis. That is what standard position is. So angle in standard position and horizontal x-axis. So angle between terminal arm and horizontal x-axis. So that is the related acute angle also called reference angle. So we normally write it with alpha. So that is the acute angle which we need to find. Why are we saying acute? Always the angle between terminal arm and the horizontal axis is going to be less than 90 degrees or acute angle. Okay, so I hope you understand the concept. Now let's find acute angle in degrees first and then we'll do it in radians. So alpha equals to 180 degrees from zero. This is 180 degrees, correct? So 180 degrees minus 165 degrees, correct, is equal to 35 degrees. So that is the related acute angle alpha. If you're doing in radius, then we are worried about 11 pi by 12. So alpha equals to, this total is pi, right? Pi minus 11 pi by 12, correct? Which is equals to 12 minus 11 pi by 12. Is that okay? Now, in radius is very easy to do. This pi is divided by divided into 12 portions, do you see? So one, two, three, like that, 12 in all. And this position is 11th. So this is 11 pi by 12. So what is left? The 12th pi, right? So it's just pi by 12 left. So you can count and get your answer, pi by 12. That is so simple. At times, I prefer to write 180 degrees as not just pi. If my divisions are 12, then I'll write this as 12 pi over 12. Do you see that? It becomes simple maths. 12 pi over 12 minus 11 pi over 12 gives me pi by 12. So that is another way of doing it in radius is neat, fast, right? So that is how we do it. And I hope you can do the next question yourself. Thank you.